56 and I am commuting I'm commuting back and forth to work where we are in week two of our New York City mandated shutter in place most businesses are closed people are home people are working from home if they still have jobs there's been an increase in unemployment I myself I'm still working I work for a uh, manufacturer that supplies medical equipment manufacturers so uh, my business and my job in particular is deemed is essential to to the recovery and I think uh, some of our biggest challenges here with dealing with this virus and and supplying the hospitals and the companies that that make the respirators and the MRIs is the funding now th this log is it going to be some stimulus package rehash that that you're probably all listening to that we're going to get it done and all the rest of that stuff. For me, I, I, as a controller, I, I know the biggest challenge isn't the money getting there. The, one of the biggest challenges is the administration and the allocation of funds. That's where some of the bigger challenges are going to be. For example, you get a company like mine that, that makes dec decorative and structural pieces out of steel, aluminum, brass, any kind of metal we bend, we, we have CNC machines, we, we'll make anything. You get a company like mine's and you call us essential. No, oh, we need you in the recovery efforts. But then you don't fund the companies, the medical supply companies that ask us to make these products for them to put in their MRIs and to put in their respirators you don't fund them so they don't give us purchase orders to do this stuff they're not going to go out on a limb and schedule these products to, to be made if they aren't funded so for me it, the challenge is always the administration and that's where the government comes in yeah the big bad government we like to point fingers at at times and stick your hand out when you want something and point your finger at them when when it's not delivered in a timely fashion or it's not enough that's the part that we have to figure out that's the part that is most challenging when you're dealing with a problem that requires an immediate response and a consistent effort so we have to get behind this government, get some of these things done sooner than later. And uh, here in New York City, it, it, it's the epicenter. And, and when you think about it, it should be. Everything's big here. I mean, you got big buildings. You got, <laughs> you got people living all on top of people. I'm noticing now that, that uh, there are some restrictions on, on traveling with New Yorkers, being that this is the epicenter, this, this is where the concentration of cases, new cases will be, and existing cases. So now uh, you jump on a plane and you come from New York, you go to another state, it's advised that, strongly suggested, or may even be mandated that you self-quarantine for two weeks. You should be doing that anyway. You know, I mentioned the essential employees and essential business and all these other terms that are being thrown around now. Truth of the matter is, we're all essential. You're essential. You're essential to yourself. You're essential to your family. You're essential to everyone you come in contact with. You're important and you are essential. So let's treat this pandemic with the respect it deserves and take care of ourselves, our bodies, take care of our families. Be mindful of all the people we come in contact with. Do the social distancing that is 
really suggested and required. It's more than suggested. It's it's the law now. Let's respect this thing. The quicker we respect it and flush it from our system, the quicker we'll be back on track. How quickly things change. Today, early morning, we were just notified that our production has shut down. Yeah, it's shut down because quite a few of the factory workers, the guys inside the shop, failed to uh, continue their social distancing and uh, they may have spread the virus. They may have, I said, because they have yet to be tested, but they have informed the shop that people in their family have tested positive or show real life symptoms. So, again, I cannot stress the point that it is essential for you to continue to be vigilant in uh, keeping distance and being in compliance of the suggested guidelines. We will do the needful. We will get through this. Stay positive. That's what we've got. That's what we've always had. We've always had access to that feeling. Positive thoughts. You have to take the good with the bad. And we have to stick together. We are all essential. Fight the fight. And I ask what I generally ask. I ask you to love yourself. Love your families. You are essential. Help somebody if you can. And thanks for coming along for the commute. Stay tuned for more videos. Like, share, subscribe to the channel. GB Winging It. And I am out.